Hello everybody! Join me on an enchanting journey through the world of mythical birds. From the realms of ancient folklore to the heights of mystical skies, we'll explore the legends and symbolism of these majestic creatures that have captured human imagination for centuries. So, let's begin. Garuda Originating from Hindu and Buddhist mythology, the Garuda is a mighty bird-like creature often associated with speed and martial prowess. It is the mount of Lord Vishnu in Hinduism, symbolising divine royalty and authority. Garudas are said to dwell in heavenly realms. They are depicted as having the golden body of a strong man with a white face, red wings and an eagle's beak. Their appearance strikes fear in serpents, over whom they have dominion. In the law, Garudas are not merely creatures, but they represent birth and heaven's will, often acting as protectors against evil. Periton Originating from European folklore, the Periton is a mythical creature with the body of a stag and the wings and hindquarters of a bird. It is said to cast the shadow of a man until it kills one, after which its shadow returns to its true form. The Periton is often associated with lost ancient cities and represents a blend of the civilised and the wild. Its role in folklore is often ambiguous, sometimes seen as a sinister omen, while other times it is viewed as a symbol of transformation and the merging of different realms of existence. Thunderbird Native American mythology, particularly among the indigenous peoples of North America, speaks of the Thunderbird, a powerful spiritual being. This colossal bird, believed to create thunder by flapping its wings and lightning by flashing its eyes, is often regarded as a protector and enforcer of morality. The Thunderbird is said to inhabit the highest mountains and controls the upper world. As a cultural symbol, it represents power, protection and strength, often intervening in human affairs to maintain balance in the natural world. Fen Wang In Chinese mythology, the Fen Wang is a mythical bird representing harmony and balance. It is often seen as a composite of several birds, including the head of a rooster, the body of a duck, the tail of a peacock, and the wings of a swallow. This majestic creature is said to appear only in areas of great peace and prosperity. Unlike many mythological creatures, the Fen Huang is neither a creature of prey nor a guardian. Instead, it symbolises the union of yin and yang, embodying virtues like grace, nobility and righteousness. It is often paired with the dragon, representing perfect balance. Griffin the griffin, with its lion's body and eagle's head and wings, originates from ancient Greek and Middle Eastern mythologies. This majestic and fearsome creature is said to inhabit the mountains and remote areas of the world. Griffins are known for their role as guardians of treasures and priceless possessions. In legend, they are fierce and noble creatures, often associated with divine power and protection. Their depiction as a combination of the king of beasts and the king of birds symbolises strength, dominance and vigilance, making them a common emblem in heraldry and art. Phoenix The phoenix, a symbol of rebirth and renewal, finds its roots in ancient Greek and Egyptian mythologies. These magnificent birds, known to reside in regions of Arabia, are celebrated for their cycle of life, death and rebirth. They are typically depicted as large, radiant birds, with a plumage of fiery reds and golds, often associated with the sun. Legend has it that at the end of its long life, the phoenix builds itself a nest of aromatic branches, which then ignites. From the ashes, a new, young phoenix arises. This powerful metaphor for the eternal cycle of regeneration has made the phoenix a symbol of immortality and spiritual rebirth across various cultures. Bennu The Bennu bird, originating from Egyptian mythology, shares similarities with the phoenix. It's a symbol of rebirth and the sun's cycle. The Bennu, said to dwell in the peripheries of the Egyptian world, including Heliopolis, is often depicted as a heron or a heron-like figure, glowing with radiant colours. This creature is believed to have played a role in the creation of the world, singing a beautiful song that broke the primeval silence. The Bennu bird, as a personification of the sun, represents both the end of a day and the promise of a new dawn, embodying the mysteries of life and death. 
ziz. The ziz, from Jewish folklore, is a gargantuan bird akin to the leviathan and behemoth in magnitude and power. Said to be able to block out the sun with its wingspan, it's believed to dwell in the sky beyond human sight. The ziz is depicted as a protector of other creatures, shielding them with its wings. Unlike predatory birds, the ziz is not associated with destruction, but rather with a protective, almost parental role over nature, representing the balance and care within the natural world. Alicanto the Alicanto, from Chilean folklore, is a mythical bird whose wings shine with metallic and dazzling colours, often resembling gold and silver. This nocturnal bird, inhabiting desert areas, especially where minerals are abundant, is said to bring fortune or doom to miners. Miners would follow the Alicanto, hoping it would lead them to hidden treasures. However, if they are not careful, they might be led off cliffs by this elusive bird. The Alicanto's legend is a tale of greed and desire, symbolising the perilous pursuit of wealth. Rock The rock, an enormous legendary bird of prey, comes from the folklore of the Middle East, popularised by tales such as One Thousand and One Nights. This gigantic bird, with brown feathers, often dwelling in isolated islands and mountaintops, is described as having the strength to carry off and feed on fully grown elephants. In most tales, the rock is portrayed as a force of nature, sometimes helping, sometimes hindering adventurers like Sinbad. Its depiction as a gigantic bird symbolises the overwhelming power of nature, often beyond human control or understanding. Vermilion Bird In Chinese mythology, the vermilion bird is one of the four symbols representing the southern direction. It is often depicted as a graceful, fiery bird resembling a pheasant. The vermilion bird, symbolising fire and the summer season, is said to govern and protect the southern lands. Unlike other mythological birds, it's not just a creature, but a symbol of the elemental force of fire, embodying passion, prosperity and the transformative power of flames. It is a part of a larger cosmological theory, intertwining with the principles of Feng Shui and the five elements. Simurg Hailing from Persian mythology, the Simurg is a benevolent, mythical bird. This creature, believed to inhabit the Alborz Mountains, and is often depicted as a fusion between a peacock and a predatory bird. The Simurg is characterised by its immense wisdom, having lived through several centuries, and is known to possess healing qualities. Legends often depict it as a guardian, intervening in times of dire need to assist heroes or the virtuous. Its role transcends that of a mere creature, symbolising the union between the earth and the sky, embodying the wisdom of the ages. Humour The humour, rooted in Persian and Sufi mythology, is a legendary bird often symbolising immortality and fortune, embodying the essence of both earth and sky. This bird is said to never land, living its entire life flying invisibly high above the earth. It is believed that its shadow or touch can bring a great fortune, and catching a glimpse of it is a sign of happiness. The humour is often considered a symbol of grace and magnanimity, embodying the themes of eternity and luck. In some stories, it is also a symbol of freedom, as it is unbound by the land. Tengu Tengu, from Japanese folklore, are supernatural creatures often depicted as bird-like demons or goblin-like beings with avian characteristics. They are traditionally thought to dwell in forests and mountains. Initially considered as harbingers of war and disaster, their portrayal has evolved over time. Tengu are now often seen as protectors of the Dharma in Buddhism and as skilled warriors. They embody the complexity of being both protective and malevolent, reflecting the diverse aspects of nature and spiritual beliefs in Japanese culture. Caladrius The Caladrius, from Roman mythology, is a pure white bird with a unique ability to absorb sickness. According to legend, it can take the illness of a person into itself and then fly towards the sun, dispelling the sickness. The Caladrius is said to refuse to look at patients who are beyond help, symbolising hope and despair in the face of illness. This mythical bird, often associated with healing and medicine, represents the delicate balance between life and death, health and disease. Harpy Harpies, 
originating from Greek mythology, are depicted as fearsome creatures with the body of a bird and the face of a woman. Known to reside in the islands of the Strophides, they were often seen as personifications of the destructive nature of wind and storms. Harpies were feared as snatchers of souls and defilers of food, representing the sudden, harsh aspects of nature. In some myths, they are also seen as agents of punishment, sent by the gods to torment mortals. The harpy symbolises the inevitable and terrifying aspects of the divine will and the natural world. Alkanost Originating from Slavic mythology, the Alkanost is a creature with the unique combination of a bird's body and a woman's head. It stands out with its brightly coloured plumage, often resembling that of a songbird, and is known for its enchanting songs that bring happiness and hope. The Alkanost is celebrated for its ability to inspire joy and positive emotions in people, making it a symbol of good news and blissful experiences. Siren The siren, also from Slavic mythology, shares the half-bird, half-woman form with the Alkanost, but is distinct in its portrayal and symbolism. Unlike the Alkanost's bright and joyous depiction, the siren often bears a more sombre or even ominous appearance, resembling owls or birds of prey. The siren's song, while mesmerising, is tinged with both happiness and profound melancholy, reflecting the dual nature of life's experiences. The siren symbolises the intertwining of joy and sorrow, highlighting the complexity of emotions and life's unpredictability. Gamayun Similarly rooted in Slavic folklore, the Gamayun bears a resemblance to both the Alkanost and Siren in its half-woman, half-bird form. However, it is often depicted in a more serene and contemplative manner, less ornate than the Alkanost and less foreboding than the Siren. The Gamayun is renowned for its prophetic voice. Its songs reveal insights and knowledge about the future and the cosmos. This creature represents wisdom and foresight, distinguishing itself from the Alkanost's association with joy and the siren's embodiment of emotional depth. Anchor Originating from Middle Eastern mythology, particularly Persian and Arabian lore, the anchor is a mythical bird of great size and splendour. It's often found in tales that span the vast deserts and ancient mystical forests of the Middle East. This magnificent creature is depicted as a gigantic bird, sometimes associated with the phoenix, known for its brilliant plumage an immense wingspan. Legends say that the anchor lived for several centuries and its appearance heralded significant events or omens. In mythology, the anchor often played roles varying from a wise advisor to rulers to a formidable guardian of sacred spaces, embodying both the wisdom of age and the ferocity of a predator. Camelots Camelots, a creature from Mayan mythology, is a feared being known for its deadly prowess. Inhabiting the dense, shadowy jungles of Mesoamerica, particularly within the folklore of the Kichimaya people, this creature is often depicted as a monstrous bird, resembling a giant, evil parrot. The Camelots is said to have a razor-sharp beak and talons, capable of decapitating its victims, often unsuspecting travellers. The legend of the Camelots likely arose as a personification of the dangers lurking in the dense jungles. In Mayan mythology, it's often portrayed as a symbol of sudden and brutal death, embodying the Mayans' respect and fear for the wild, untamed forces of nature. Stymphalian birds The Stymphalian birds are a part of Greek mythology, infamous for their menacing presence in the Stymphalian marshes of Arcadia. These malevolent birds are depicted with metallic feathers, which they could launch at their victims and their sharp, bronze beaks were known for their ferocity. According to legend, these birds were a formidable challenge for the hero Hercules during his labours, representing the chaos and danger of the natural world that heroes must conquer. The Stymphalian birds symbolised the destructive aspects of nature and the necessity for balance and control over one's environment. Yatagarasu Steeped in Japanese folklore, Yatagarasu is a mythical three-legged crow, a divine creature associated with guiding and assisting important figures on their journeys. Found in the Shinto religion and linked to the sun goddess Amaterasu, Yatagarasu is more than just a bird. It's a symbol of guidance and divine intervention. 
This mythical crow is depicted as an intelligent, powerful creature with a spiritual connection to the heavens. Its role as a messenger of the gods and a guide for heroes or emperors in ancient Japanese tales underscores the cultural importance of divine guidance and the revered status of birds as spiritual entities in Japanese mythology. Anzu A creature from Mesopotamian mythology is a demonic bird-like creature known to inhabit the remote mountainous regions of ancient summer Akkad and Babylon. Often depicted as a massive bird with the head of a lion and the body of an eagle, Anzu was said to possess immense strength and a fearsome appearance. Legends speak of Anzu stealing the Tablet of Destinies from the god Enlil, signifying its role as a disruptor of order and a challenger to the gods. This creature in Mesopotamian lore represents the chaotic forces of nature and the constant struggle between order and chaos, emphasising the fragile balance maintained by the gods. Boobri The Boobri is a mythical creature from Scottish folklore, particularly associated with the highlands and its mist-shrouded locks and marshes. Described as a large, terrifying bird with a blend of penguin and pelican features, it is said to have a penchant for preying on livestock and even larger animals. The boobri is characterised by its monstrous size, often depicted with webbed feet, a wide beak and a thunderous call that echoes across the highlands. This creature's legend likely originated as an explanation for the mysterious disappearances of livestock and to personify the ominous and often treacherous aspects of the Scottish wilderness. In folklore, the boobri serves as a symbol of the unpredictable and sometimes malevolent forces of nature. Chamrosh Hailing from Persian mythology, the Chamrosh is a remarkable fusion of bird and canine traits, bearing the body of a dog and the wings and head of a bird. This unique being is believed to reside atop Mount Albors, the legendary mountain central to Persian lore. The Chamrosh is revered as a guardian of the land, believed to protect against the evils that descend from the sky. In mythology, this creature is responsible for shedding the seeds of all plants and ensuring the Earth's fertility. Depicted as a creature of harmony, balancing the characteristics of birds and mammals, the Chamrosh symbolises the unity of sky and earth, serving as a guardian of both realms. Strix Originating from ancient Greek and Roman mythology, the Strix is a nocturnal creature, often found in the darkest, most foreboding forests and near ruins. It is depicted as a bird of ill omen, resembling an owl but with a more sinister aspect. The Strix is often associated with witchcraft and malevolent magic, believed to feed on human flesh and blood, especially that of infants. Its legend is likely rooted in the fear of the unknown and the dangers that lurk in the darkness. In mythology, the Strix serves as a symbol of the dark, mysterious forces that were believed to roam the night, instilling fear and caution in those who heard its eerie cry. Hugin and Munin Hugin and Munin are iconic figures from Norse mythology, known as the two ravens that accompany the god Odin. These birds are said to fly all over the world Midgard and bring information back to Odin. Hugin, whose name means thought, and Munin meaning memory, are often depicted as intelligent and powerful, symbolising the importance of these faculties to Odin. Their role in mythology is not just as messengers, but as extensions of Odin's own power, representing the Norse belief in the power of knowledge and the importance of staying informed. Hugin and Munin highlight the value placed on wisdom and foresight in Norse culture. Karura The Karura is a mythical creature from Japanese folklore, often associated with Buddhist traditions. It is depicted as a bird-like creature with human traits, resembling a large firebird. The Karura is said to dwell in heavenly realms, embodying both the fierceness of a firebird and the benevolence of a divine protector. This creature is also known for its ability to breathe fire and its opposition to dragons, symbolising the struggle between good and evil. In legend, the Karura serves as a guardian figure, protecting the faithful from malevolent spirits and symbolising the power of good to triumph over evil. The Karura's depiction in folklore represents the blend of Buddhist teachings with traditional Japanese myth. 
As we wrap up our exploration of mythical birds, remember that these fascinating legends are a glimpse into our shared human heritage. Thank you for flying with me on this journey. If you enjoyed this adventure, please like, share and subscribe for more mythical explorations. Until next time, keep your eyes to the skies and your heart open to the tales of old. Yours truly, Mythos, the Historian.